Welcome to the second video about the parse alarm. Although the script we produced in the first part is useful, there is a problem. The script demands that you keep a computer running at home solely dedicated for the script. This is quite a high price to pay. And most of us probably only have one computer at home. The solution to this is to run the script on a server instead. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is what you get at first when you log into Microsoft Azure. And what we want to do is go into the virtual machines option. You want to make sure that you have a virtual machine up and running that you can use. I'm not going to go into full detail on how you create one of those in, th in this video, but I would recommend you to go to this link if you want to know how. Well then, you take a look at your virtual machine and you will see that you have the possibility of connecting by using this button. So go ahead and click on that one and that should get you a remote desktop shortcut. And I've already started my session with the virtual machine. As you can see here, you have this blue thing on top here. And if I actually minimize this, you see that there's a totally new desktop actually being used here. So I've transferred my script onto my virtual machine on Microsoft Azure, and I've chosen a Windows Server 2012, which has PowerShell installed on it from the start. And uh, I've also done some small changes to the script, which I think is very useful because if you remember for the first part, we used speech synthesis to, no to notify us when the price limit of a stock had been crossed. This is obviously a bad solution if we are running the script on a virtual machine. So let's use Gmail instead and send us a message whenever the stock price reaches a certain point. So I've replaced the object that sent out a speech synthesis message and I now have a commandlet here called send Gmail. And you can take a look at the function right here and also in the paste bin link below. But to use the send Gmail commandlet, you're going to have to get yourself a special kind of password. And you do that by visiting the following link. And as you can see here, I have generated four special kinds of passwords for Gmail. And the one I'm using when I send a, G a mail with uh, PowerShell is mail on my Windows computer. And what you do is you simply select app mail and then I use on my Windows computer I generate it and then I will get a special password which I will only use for this certain application yeah, but when I have that I can simply pass it into the function here you see this argument right here and uh, it will produce a simple mail uh, I will show you an example of what I've sent to myself uh, earlier today. As you can see, I, I'm using the same kind of message I had in part one, but now it's going to send me an email instead of reading it to me in a robotic kind of voice. So that's part two. Now you've seen how you can use Microsoft Azure to set this up and have it running all day without actually having to use your own computer. Hope you have a good day and take care.